Welcome to Plumtrician's channel today, we will show you how to install a wash hand basin tap with a pop-up waste. So let's get stuck in. First and foremost, we need to isolate the water supply. Our taps will have two supplies, which are hot and cold water. This will be achieved in two ways, either by a stop valve, also known as a stopcock in the UK, or by isolation valves situated on the pipework. In this case, we have two isolation valves situated on the pipework, as seen here. You will require a flathead screwdriver to isolate the water via these isolation valves. Now let's have a look at the new pop-up waste and tap to be installed. We can now see the old pop-up waste tap be removed. Also note the green flux on the pipework, the previous plumber simply could not be bothered to clean it off. This green flux eventually eats through the copper pipe, leading to leaks. Let's remove these doors so we have good access to the pipework. Now we remove pop-up and strainer and cut the existing pipework making way for the new tap flexible hoses. There will be some water in pipework, so expect a little. Have cloths or dust sheets close by to mop up any excess. Box spanner, always good for those hard to reach areas. The old tap is now removed. Now let's get rid of this old strainer. Now we prepare our new strainer and pop up. Note this can be a little tedious, so patience is a must in these circumstances. Adjust the waist to suit.
ensure your waist is watertight. Now we put the new tap in place. Once in place, we secure to the basin in this case, we are using an Allen key. Once secure, we connect our hoses to the existing pipework and get the pop-up waste mechanism in place. Ensure pipework has a good sealing compound like Jet Blue on all your pipework connections. Now, we can go ahead and refit the trap and turn the isolation valves back on. Now we do our final checks, make sure there are no leaks. That's our tap install complete. Please like, share and subscribe for more helpful tips.